Hi, this is Gina at Art of Skin Care, and today I want to talk to you about sagging skin and droopy pores. This can be a confusing topic and something that's hard to address, but I'm going to simplify it for you today. I'm going to show you how to use the MBK curve in my tightening facial to really firm the skin on the jawline and on the cheeks. So stay tuned. Tightening the skin can be a confusing affair because we have several things going on, essentially three things going on in our skin when we are aging. Number one, you have collagen loss, and this leads to that loss of plumpness in the skin. The skin starts to look very thin. Number two, we have sagging muscles or loss of firmness in the muscles, and that will cause the skin to sag. And then number three is we start to lose the elasticity in our skin. That's that elastic kind of fiber that brings the skin back. It snaps it back into shape after we make an expression. And as the skin loses that elasticity, it loses its tightness or firmness. And that's when you see um, the pores start to look bigger. The skin just starts to look like it's sagging a bit off of its other structures, off of the muscles and things underneath it. So I'm excited today. I'm going to be showing you my skin tightening facial and we'll be using the MBK curve. The first step in this facial routine is a good cleanse. I like to cleanse my skin using an enzyme cleanser. Enzymes digest away that top layer of dull, dead, dry skin cells so that those serums and things that we're gonna use next can really penetrate into the skin. Enzymes also really firm the surface of the skin. They're gonna reduce the inflammation around the pores and really tighten and firm our pores. Now, a lot of times when people use a enzyme cleanser or a pore tightening cleanser, their skin feels very tight afterwards. That's because we are tightening the skin. Some people confuse that with dryness. They're afraid that because their skin feels so tight that their skin is dry. So let me assure you throughout this entire facial, your skin is going to be feeling tight and even tighter. And just know that that does not mean that your skin is dry. We are firming your skin. The cleanser that I choose to use use for my tightening facial is the Dr. Este Enzyme Powder Deep Clean. When you're using an enzyme cleanser, you want to give your skin a full three minute cleanse so that you are really giving these enzymes time to do their work and so that they can really dissolve the dead skin cells on the surface. Step two in my tightening facial is to feed the skin. I like to use Nelly DeVos Firming Serum. This serum is loaded with botanicals and um, ingredients that actually increase blood flow to the skin, and it actually helps to relieve dilated pores. So that means that your pores are going to be tighter and firmer and the skin all over is just going to feel much tighter and firmer when using this serum. This is that serum that I always recommend to people if they've lost a lot of weight because it's such a fantastic firming serum. After you've lost weight, if you've got a lot of sagging skin, this is that serum that'll really help take care of that for you. Step three in my tightening facial is to use a serum that stimulates collagen. I like to use the Cavapla O2 Multi Serum because when the skin, when we stimulate collagen production, we're gonna be plumping the skin. So it helps with lifting. Although it's not tightening um, and not firming the elastin fibers, it's going in and, and boosting our collagen production so that the skin is plumper and juicier. And you imagine, if you think about a balloon, if a balloon is deflated, it's kind of saggy. And, and baggy. But when you fill that balloon up, it stands up, it's firmer and it's plumper. And so with the skin, even though what with this facial, I'm really wanting to go after the elastic fibers and the elastin in the skin, 
I also want to use a collagen promoting serum because that collagen is going to do that lifting and plumping that works hand in hand with the MBK curve. So my third step is to get on my Cavapla. I'm going to use two pumps of the Cavapla. I'm going to massage it in really well. Um, if it foams up, that's great, but you just want to keep massaging until that Cavapla is completely absorbed into the skin. Step four in our facial is to pull out our conductive gel because anytime we're using an electronic device like the Curve, we need to have a conductive gel on the skin and we need to keep that gel moist. So my favorite conductive gel is by Scopla. It's the Promoter Collagen Gel. This gel stays moist really well. It also has ingredients in it, again, that are gonna really help um, stimulate collagen production and protect your collagen. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the collagen gel, keeping in mind that as you're using the curve, you need to keep the gel moist. So if your gel starts to dry up, the thing that you want to use with the gel is the Isocell Recovery Solution from Lemieux. This is a perfect solution to use with any of your devices, whether it be the Time Master Pro or a microcurrent device or the Curve. It has electrolytes in it, which actually help to conduct electricity. So it makes it the perfect mist to use with any of your devices. These two pair up really well together. Now we get to the really fun part and that's when we bring out the Curve. So the first thing you're gonna do is turn on your Curve. You're going to push the bottom button once and that will turn it on. Then you're gonna push the top button twice, then the bottom button twice, and then the top button twice again. You'll hear a continual buzzing, and that's how you know that your device is on and it's got all the correct settings for doing your facial treatment. Step six in our facial, we've got our curve turned on. Now we are going to start on one side of the face. We want to position the curve on the neck right below the jawline. From there, we want to lift the device and begin upward movements. We're gonna do that moving all along the jawline and you wanna do each side of the face. Now, if you want to do a, just a short abbreviated treatment every day, you can do this for five minutes over the entire face every day. But what I recommend, especially in the beginning when you're trying to set a benchmark for yourself, is to go ahead and do this treatment twice a week and do this for 10 minutes on each side. Again, starting at the base of the jaw and using an upward motion to lift the skin. So you wanna use just the right speed when using your curve. You don't wanna to go too fast, but you don't wanna to go too slow. And one way you could know if you're going too slow is the device will begin to feel warm on the skin. If it's starting to get warmer and warmer, you know that you need to be moving it along a little bit faster. You're gonna do each side of the face for 10 minutes and then you're done. Now, if you have the Time Master Pro, and you're also using that, you can use that and the Curve, but not on the same day. So one day do your Time Master Pro, and then the next day do the Curve. They're the perfect duo to use together because the Time Master Pro is gonna be doing that plumping that we want, and the Curve is gonna do the tightening that we want. So you can use each of those twice a week, the Time Master Pro twice a week, and then the Curve twice a week, just not on the same day. So step seven, we're gonna remove the excess promoter collagen gel with a dry Lush cloth. You don't need to wash your face. You don't need to rinse off the collagen gel. You just wanna remove whatever excess is on the surface. So now you're gonna apply the Sculpla Promoter Repair Cell Cream. I love the way this cell cream really tightens and firms the skin. You can see it has these little spider webs that actually, actually join with the skin to really promote and increase that V line of the face, which is what we're after. Now, step eight, this is so important. What I always say here is protect it or lose it. We have now spent you know, this time and this money to really work on improving the health of the collagen and elastin in your skin. The last thing we wanna do is go outdoors in the sun without sun protection on, because guess what? 
It's the sun that actually causes that damage that we're trying to combat at this point. So step eight, our protect it or lose it. This is when you're gonna apply your sculptless sun cushion. This is an SPF of 50. It's beautiful on the skin. In the summertime, you don't even need a foundation. This is all you need and it leaves your skin with a really beautiful, polished, natural finish. Once you've applied your sun cushion, that's when you wanna grab your stem cell mist and you're gonna mist your face with the stem cell mist to just set the sun cushion and provide some extra plumping. And it also really improves that dewiness that I love of the skin. And then you are all set. So that's my skin tightening facial. I do it twice a week. I love it. I'm seeing great results from it. I love my MBK Curve. So if you haven't got the Curve or if you just picked up the Curve, I hope you'll give this facial a try and let me know how it works for you. And be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you get notifications on when I put out my next tutorial. Have a great day.